All right, welcome to the last episode of our platformer tutorial. We're at number 10. And really right here, we're just sort of um, making little modifications to make this um, a more enjoyable kind of game. So um, first thing we're going to do actually is if you notice, <clears throat> if we press play, with our game, our enemy is able to move on its own. Um, it switches direction when it hits our little edge marker here. Um, but in actually playing this game, um, Right, it would be really weird if our enemies just jumped off to their dooms every time that uh, they went to an empty or uh, you know the edge of the thing uh, platform. So we're gonna uh, duplicate some of these edge markers, put them in the correct places. I'm gonna move this platform because there's no point in being there, and then um, also show you how to make a jump through platform as well. Okay, so actually, let me just move this guy anyway because I don't like where it is. Let's just put it over, I don't know, let's put it over here for now. I hope that's not too far. I don't think so. Okay. Anyway, to duplicate an object, remember it's really easy. Uh, the shortcut is just pressing the control button and then dragging that object to the other side. Just like that. Okay. Simple. And uh, then, since these are actually all the same size, I think we can actually... Um, I'm going to duplicate both of these. Yes. Nice. Okay. Now I'll just save me some time here. Duplicate all these. Put them this way. And you can obviously have platforms that are much longer or shorter than these. Um, it just happens that this is the size that uh, that I decided to make for the tutorial. Okay. Make sure these are short enough so that the guy doesn't fall off. Which you probably shouldn't because it's a big sprite. But whatever. <coughs> And now uh, that we've duplicated them, we also want them to be invisible because it'd be really dumb if you see all these little red markers everywhere, right? So make sure you're selecting uh, edge marker here in the object types. And then you're going to go down to properties. Uh, oops, where did it go? Um, uh, you want to go to the property of initially visible. And we're going to deselect or uncheck that box. So now you hit play you don't see them yay and our snail will just magically turn around at each edge of the platform making us think that it's actually smart when really we know we know what's up with that all right great what we also want to do is create jump through objects since this is a platform sometimes you have to jump through the bottom of a platform and then land on the top of it all right so uh, we are going to do that by making some more tiles. So I'm going to, um, let's see, right click on a tile object. And uh, I don't want to select all these, I'll just do this one. And we're going to clone object type. Okay. So there we go. And we'll put that, uh, oh, then we're going to go reach that. <laughs> let's put this like right here then. <clears throat> All right, so now we've created a new sprite called Tile 2, and we'll just leave it as Tile 2. Uh, make sure you're selecting that. We're going to go to Behaviors, and we're going to check the solid behavior. So maybe, oh, it's already here. Great. But we're actually, sorry, going to delete that. So we we'll go ahead and press the Delete button, and it goes away. And we're going to check instead a new behavior called Jump Through Behavior. And I forgot to say, you can always search something that's easier to you know find something that way than scrolling through um, but you know you can also just scroll through if you want to it doesn't matter okay uh, in my case I why sometimes I cannot find these things there oh because it's already selected man must be tired okay <clears throat> jump through is what we want there we go now we got it all right and now this looks like a pretty silly uh, you know, tile to jump through because it's the, the big heavy block that we've been doing. So we're actually going to change this one uh, to a more friendly looking um, tree branch. So in the initial frame over here, <clears throat> let's change it to 134, okay, tile 134. So you get the edge of a tree branch. Okay, it looks like that. And let's lower that a little bit so you can actually probably jump on it. 
Okay, and then uh, I want to duplicate this because I want some more of these tree branches. Uh, but once again, right, they don't line up very well, and I don't want to go through all the effort of doing all that. So let's snap the grid. So click off of it onto the layer or layout, and you can just show, the show grid, and we'll do snap to grid here. And now when we click on that, there, be nice and easy snappy grid. Good, there we go. And there's also uh, tile 135 if you want to do that. We get a nice little branch of the tree there. So we do that too. And we'll just duplicate that. Let's get back to the uh, fall branch. And you can also add a whole bunch of, you know, other things like a tree. Uh, let's see. I'll duplicate this one. And let's make a maybe a tree stump. Uh, I wish I could remember which one that was. Oh, here we go. Nice. 130. Okay. And then you you know make some other ones if you'd like to. I think 131 was the other side of this. Yeah. And anyway, there's a whole bunch of different branch types you can make. All right, with this now. Okay. To make trees to your heart's desire. And uh, they all, remember, since they're all tile twos, they all have that jump through uh, behavior. Okay. The last thing we want to do, just to make the game a little more interesting looking when you're moving, is to create the parallax uh, effect let's say, um, on our background layer. Um, so what we're going to do is actually un... we're going to click on background, but we're going to uncheck the lock, and then um, we're going to change the parallax from 100% by 100% to 50 by 50, which basically means it scrolls half as fast in the horizontal and in the vertical direction. Okay, so 50 by 50. There we go. And we're going to save, and now we play. There we go. We got <laughs> we have our tree branches hanging in the air. Uh, we got our enemy. I'm gonna destroy him. And now here's our guy. So notice I can walk underneath this, and if I jump up, then I can land on the tree branch and then access these other parts. But you know, maybe we should add some more uh, snail elements here. It's kind of boring with the are more enemies. Huh. There we go. There we go. Okay. And if you like, since we probably don't want them all to be moving in the same direction at the same time, you can also do action left for some of them just to make them move you know, in the other direction. Um, they may actually start off. Well, we'll see. I'm not sure how we set this up. There we go, yeah. There you go, so it makes it a little more interesting looking with more enemies here. Alright. There we go. Get away, get away. Oh, uh, nobody's there. Alright, well, thanks for joining us, and um, good luck customizing this game. Uh, hopefully you guys make some cool ones. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me.